Hi, this is David. I was playing with R, using it to price a bond and trying different methods. thought I would share the code to that. You can get this code that I'm showing you in my GitHub um, on the link. And just to show you what I was doing with the code here, start with just the illustration of a vanilla bond. And I have some assumptions here as usual in yellow. So this bond has a five-year maturity, face value of a thousand, and then a coupon rate of 2%. So by convention, we want that to be 2% per annum as the coupon rate. And that means the coupon in dollars is $20 per year, but it's going to pay semi-annually. So you can see each coupon is going to be $10 every six months. And then we've got, a, we need a yield to price the bond. And also that's going to be per annum. So that's yield or yield to maturity. I've got 3%. Then if we just want to longhand this, as you may know, then here's our timeline and then the cash flow streams. These are in future values. That final cash flow is the final coupon of $10, which is 2% times the face, but half of that, because it's a semi-annual payment, semi-annual pay bond, plus the face value. So the stream of future cash flows, and then those are discounted to the stream of present values and summed for a theoretical price of the bond of 953, 953.89. So that's what I wanted to just um, code that in R. And by the way, there is an analytical formula solution or shortcut, if you will, that'll give us the price of the bond. So I've got a line for that in the code, but I commented it out because maybe we don't know that. Um, but let's take a look at what I did use here. And I've got the function here called price long. And this function then is going to accept as parameters the coupon rate, that's C percent, the maturity of the bond, the yield, and the face value. So here I'm taking, I'm setting the variable C equal to the percent divided by two, that's the semi-annual, and multiplied by the face. So this converts or this solves for the coupon dollars per each, the semi-annual coupon dollars as a function of the coupon rate. And then my semi-annual yield is just going to be my annual yield divided by two. And then here for periods, what I've got is a sequence function that creates a vector for me starting at, see it's got this sequence function has three arguments. So it starts at 0.5, it goes up to the maturity, um, maybe of five years if we pass that argument, and it's going to step by 0.5. So this is going to give me the sequence. And you can see I can run this, or if I come down here and just show you what that sequence generates, you can see 0.5, 1.0, and we really get the timeline just like I had in the spreadsheet. Now, the first thing I did, I'm not going to run this code, but it does work, is just, I just did a loop stepping through, setting the price equal to zero, and then computing each of those cash flows. So for T in the periods, I step through and compute each cash flow, discounting it and adding it to the price. So that's really manually going down that each of the row in the spreadsheet and adding the cash flow to the price. And this would give me the sum of the coupons. Then I need to add the discounted, the final uh, par value as well. But so that's sort of a brute force way of doing it. But it's the first thing I tried because it seems most um, intuitive to me and it does work. And then, and, um, but I've commented that out and I've also commented out that analytical shortcut because we will get the correct answer with just the straight price function. So obviously this is the most efficient but um, you know you may not know that. So what I liked uh, ultimately is the one I'm showing here, which is where I solve for the price. And I'm using just two lines of code here. And the key for me is to use the cumulative sum function. And in this case, the cumulative sum function is very interesting. Let me just show you what's inside of it. So I'm just gonna copy that and just run that function right there because um, R, remember, uh, the really the, the really cool thing about R is it's all is vector operations. So you might be just be expecting a scalar output here, but what do we have? We have the coupon in dollars multiplied by one plus the semi-annual yield raised to the power negative two times the periods. 
So that yield semi semi-annual is our semi-annual yield, but the periods is here this vector, so it's the timeline. So watch what happens when we run this command and we include periods as a vector. What we get are the vector or series of discounted coupon cash flows. You can see here's that first coupon of $10 in six months discounted to today. Here's the second one coupon in one year discounted to today. So you can see they're declining because they're each further out. So we have first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Ten coupons over the five years, ten semi-annual coupons. There is the stream of coupons, but discounted to the present. So I think that's just a really cool feature of R. And then what you can see, I that's in, inside the, the uh, cumulative sum function. Took me a second to just think about this, but watch what the cumulative sum function does. It, it's got that same vector we just calculated, but that first, so the first value in the vector is the same, but notice it's running a cumulative total. So it's a lot like it would be in Excel. And we get to the end, this final value is the sum of all the discounted coupon cash flows. So this is going to be the price, except just it's not including that final discounted um, face value of the coupon. So, but, so this line here computes most, does most of the work by computing all the discounted coupon cash flows and then creating that cumulative sum vector, but I only need that final value. So what I've done, then I then I just um, recompute, recompute that price variable. And this time, I retrieve from that price vector the final value, which is going to be maturity times 2, or in this case, 5 years times 2 or 10. So we're getting the last value by definition here. And then we're just going to add the face value discounted as well. So that will give us the price. And so, for example, if I go back now and just reg, uh, look at the Excel spreadsheet, what I've got here is for this five year bond, remember the sum of these cash flows is $953.89 is the price of the bond. So if I pass the same values to this uh, function, price long, I'm going to use a 2% coupon rate, a five-year maturity, and our yield is actually 3%, and then the face value is 1000 and I get back the same answer, $953.89 rounded. And so I thought that's a pretty cool way to compute the uh, price of a bond. I'm sure there's a package that does it automatically, but we're learning R here. Thanks a lot. Bye.